Welcome back to channel everyone. This is Power App Tutorials. In this section, I'm going to talk about how you can customize your list form using Power Apps. With Power Apps, we can do a lot of functionalities. Some of them we'll talk about in this video today. So this is my uh, user profile list which I've created and I have a user information in this particular list. I have a person column which is a personal group columns which is fetching the data from O365 profile and we'll talk about how we can do things in Power Apps. If I click on my profile here, so the item form looks like this. I want to customize this form using Power Apps and I want to add a button here, a request button. If a person click on this particular button, an email will go to this particular person email ID. All right. And here I would like to load a profile picture of this particular user. So how we're going to do this in Power Apps? Let's talk about that. Here we have a Power App section. Click on Customize Form. A Power Apps will be automatically created here for you. And then we can start customizing the Power Apps according to our needs. Click on Skip here. This is the default form which Power App loaded here. And if you can see in the left hand side section, we have a form screen. And inside that we have entire form here. So first of all, I'm going to duplicate the screen so that I have a copy reserved with me. This is form screen one and we're going to work on this form screen one here. All right. So first of all, what I have to do, I have to increase the width of this form. I'll go in file section in the app setting. In the orientation, I'm going to choose landscape and I'm going to put custom width here. So I'll put width 500 and then height is 500. Click on apply here. Click on OK. There we have form with width 500 and height 500. I'll just drag this particular section here this much. And then in the insert section, I'm going to insert a media, click on image. Just resize it like this. And in my form section here, I'm going to change the snap to column here. So this is right now one. I have to divide it in two column structure. Once that is done, we can see this is how it look like. Customize your form like that. Uh, I have created customizers like this. So I'm going to create a button here. I'm going to insert section and uh, click on button. And I'll have my button here. Just drag it down to the location where I need it and making request this is my button meeting request and right now there is no image here so first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some background color go in your home and in the fill section we have some background color here i'm going to put background color and let me just change the color from here now make this one white fill this one with this color and change the text white so i have to do this for all these things once that is done and just add color to this particular one also uh, with some light color 
this one and well, this is what we have a nice template here and now what I have to do is uh, add a user image here the selected user image first of all what we have to do is we have to check the connection go in view click on data source and right now we have ship and connection here we have to add a 0365 user connection also once that is done here it is added this is how our form look like now and the image section is still blank so what I have to do is here is image selected and I have to write a function here that is 0365 users dot user photo SharePoint integration dot selected means for selected item the current item which is selected then I'm going to target the person column which is my person column and then I'm going to fetch the photo by email ID of that particular person it will load the current user photo so current user is Prakash so the photo of Prakash is loaded here next what we're gonna do is on a meeting request click we're gonna send an email to this particular user that we have a new meeting request on this particular button on select I'm gonna write a function so first of all we need one more connection here for that purpose click on add source and just type office okay just type office email here so there we have office outlook click on this create a connection now we have a connection go in your meeting request just type office 365 dot send email and uh, in the two section I'm gonna type SharePoint integration dot selected dot person and email so it will send an email to this person email ID then put comma and the subject line will be new will be in double quote and then body text will be like you have new meeting request please connect the an exclamation mark and we are good to go now just save your uh, power apps and click on publish to SharePoint once our power apps is created now we'll check in our SharePoint list that how it's looking like click on your profile section and there we have uh, your profile picture of a current user and a meeting request button and if I click on another user the picture change according to the users and the information also change according to the user so if I click on this particular uh, meeting request I should get an email to my mailbox and we have a new email here with a subject new meeting request you have new meeting request please connect so uh, that is how you can do things in power app and uh, can start working with power apps uh, there's a lot of things in power apps to do so as we proceed in our next tutorial we'll learn a lot of things that's coming to our way so thank you so much for watching